the origin of our solar system, clues dating back to the very beginning, and how life first formed on Earth. It all sounds pretty deep, right? But that's what we could know by this time tomorrow. And it's thanks to some students at CU Boulder. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live at CU. And Marshall, students who graduated a decade ago are seeing their work pay off. And that work will be in the form of data and photos here at CU's Fisk Planetarium. You can see the signs ready to put out for tomorrow night's special event arrival at Pluto. The countdown down to less than seven hours and 45 minutes. And soon it'll be people from CU that can say they've gotten closer to Pluto than anyone else. Despite being a dwarf planet now, Pluto is about to be the biggest talk of our solar system. I had today circled with Pluto encounter on there, and I didn't even remember that I'd written that on there when I got the calendar. So, Chelsea Krug works at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at CU. If her headband <laughs> didn't famous. give that away, I would wear it at work. What she's wearing is a replica of New Horizons, a spacecraft that will be passing by Pluto early in the morning. It can't slow down and get into orbit. It's just going to kind of fly by and take pictures and say hi. On board, a dust collector designed by Chelsea and other CU students. But why? By studying dust in our solar system, we can learn about the origin of our solar system. It's also a study in patience. New Horizons launched in January 2006. You know, I've gotten married. I live out in beautiful Lafayette now and um, have a great dog. <laughs> New Horizons was her first, but Chelsea has also worked on other space projects. Some of them have already gotten to their goal and burned up in the atmosphere. So. But New Horizons has continued setting New Horizons. So I'm most excited about seeing the pictures just because we've never had a really good picture of Pluto. Whether it's a planet or not, we still are getting new science that we've never seen before. New Horizons is only 3 billion miles away, so it's not like it can send back the data and photos like that. But by tomorrow night, we should be able to get that long-distance text message from New Horizons. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.